Hey what's up guys, it's FTV here and today I've got like a very um, unbelievable kind of demonstration. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a plugin for 3D Studio Max called AR Media and AR actually stands for uh, Augmented Reality. And trust me it does not disappoint, it does exactly what it says and uh, yeah so what it does actually is um, you know it takes your 3D model and it projects it using using a webcam onto the real world so that's not like a hologram not not like that um, it's, it's gonna track um, like an image that you have and then it's gonna take your model and put it on that image so all of that is complete nonsense and I have no idea what I just said so let's go, let's go ahead and show you what I just tried to say so uh, here I have 3 Studio Max oh, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and very quickly create a teapot. Okay, that's the easiest uh, model that we can do. And I'm going to increase the segment from like 10, so that's like smoother. And then I'm going to go inside of Utilities, and I'm going to click Max Script. And from here, and I'm going to choose AR Media Plugin. Now I do have the trial version of this uh, simply because it's too expensive for me and uh, I can't find it anywhere on the internet as well so uh, I'm gonna be demonstrate, demonstrating using the trial version and the, uh, the limitations here actually you can visualize only for 30 seconds and you have watermarks all over the place doesn't matter um, as long as uh, I can show you what's up so um, I'm gonna do uh, like AR media here use that and set up and I'm going to take the teapot and include that. Now, all of you probably know, I don't know what I'm talking about right now, but once you do it for the first time and show you what it actually does, um, I'm going to explain to you when I do it for the second time on a different model. So, uh, yeah. What, th what that means is, uh, I have like, they have like all of these things here, uh, the different markers. Uh, I actually took this marker, um, AR Media marker, and I printed it out and I have a printed uh, paper, as you can see and uh, oh <laughs> probably you can see um, and they have all of these stuff so I'm going to use this and what that does what this uh, plugin actually does it takes this image and actually tracks it and puts your model on it in real time so it might just be a little laggy uh, for you when I'm capturing it but it basically shows you what it does so enough talking on my part let's get straight to the demonstration I'm going to hit view here so remember um, I'm going to be explaining what I do uh, when I do it for the second time. So it's, a it's asked me to select which uh, camera I want to use. So I have just one webcam right here. So I'm going to hit that, hit OK. And let me set up the printout here. Alright, so as you can see, uh, we have the printout here. And, you know, uh, this is the model that we just did. So if you can rotate around it and do stuff with it, uh, it's actually pretty cool and you can visualize it you know I'm rotating it around in real time and trust me I've not used any tracking software for, like After Effects for this or even Synthize I simply don't have the time to do all of that stuff but it's a really great way to show off your work in uh, in real time so as you saw I have I had like a printout of that image uh, on a paper and I just folded it up to make it like harder so that, uh, we can have a more harder surface for this rest on so yeah, let's go ahead and try this with a different model this time. Uh, I have an Apple Magic Mouse uh, model uh, that I haven't uploaded the speed art for yet, but um, yeah, I can show you what uh, what this plugin does. So as you can see, I'll do plug. All right, so um, we have this model here, and 
I'm going to be having a speed art to this very soon. I'm going to be uploading this. So I'm going to go back into utilities and choose AR Media and hit Use. Now, it depends on what, which printout you have that you want to, uh, you know, uh, visualize your scene on. So I have this, and that's why I'm using this. So another uh, limitation of the trial version is that you cannot have multiple markers here. For example, if you want to disable one of them and try some other one, you can't do that. You have to redo everything again and again. But uh, yeah, that's the trial version, and uh, you know, um, trial version always have stupid limitations. So let's go ahead and hit setup here, and I'm going to choose everything here except the itself. It accept itself and hit include and what that means is uh, I want to include all of these things on my visualization so as you can see um, okay so um, you can see that this plane here is actually not fitting over exactly my uh, my mouse so I can just go ahead and move this down go ahead and move this down like that just a touch and now my magic mouse is floating on the surface so if I go ahead and move down here and hit view let's get my paper ready okay All right let's go ahead and select the webcam and hit OK let's wait for some seconds and as you can see um, that's the paper and we have our model on top of it and as you can see it's pretty uh, pretty cool and it's done a pretty cool job at uh, tracking this stuff you know we can rotate around it and do all kind of funny stuff with it and okay so this somehow not good All right, so yeah it's gonna switch off automatically after 30 seconds as I told you it's a limitation of the trial version and we have all of these watermarks here as you can see this one and this oh, okay <laughs> so that uh, that finishes up let's try it on something even better now so I'm going to save here and open up a new project so I've been working on a McLaren MP4 uh, I'm not doing the R8 right now I, I could do it but um, I have a tutorial on this of course so um, it's really high poly and it really slows down my computer and I don't want you guys to suffer uh, because of all this so I have my mp4 model that I'm working on right now and it's nowhere near finished but it's really cool for this job so as you can see I worked really hard on this and um, I mean it's uh, it's it's about 50 percent done and yeah so let's go ahead and do the same thing I'm gonna use the same marker and I'm gonna hit setup and for the setup I'm gonna choose control a to select all of these parts and of course these planes are frozen so I cannot select them so I'm just going to control A and deselect the skylight and hit include so as you can see all of these are included now alright let's go ahead and save this project up and hit view alright let's get my uh, plane ready okay hit oh wait just a second okay let's hit okay here now get my plane into position I don't want to waste those 30 seconds at all so here I have it and boom, 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 look at the beauty of this thing. You can actually see the transparency behind it as well. You know, this is just a bit wrinkled, and that's why it's not showing up properly. But, yeah, now should be pretty good. Um, my webcam is not very high quality, so you can actually uh, see my hands very clearly. But, you know, it does a pretty good job, as you can see. I mean, I can move around. Oh, 30 seconds are over now. We really hate this about it, but I am sure if you guys have the uh, money, you should probably go ahead and buy this thing. It's really, really worth the money. So as you can see, the plane here is actually uh, somewhere here. We can go ahead and move this down somewhere here. And that actually means that the, this is the printout of the paper that I have, and the model is going to be projected somewhere here. So let's go ahead and view that again with last time. Okay. Hit OK here. alright come on okay so as you can see this is much better now and we can actually uh, you know do pretty fun stuff with it as you can see I uh, let's go try rotate it and uh, try to look at the front now okay there we go I wanna look at the front of the car okay alright so it's for some reason it's not working right now come on okay uh, 
it works on my left hand. I have no idea why. But yeah, the 30 seconds are over. But yeah, you can pretty much uh, imagine that if I took this paper and uh, you know stuck it to a more solid surface rather than holding the paper in my hands, I would have more control over uh, over the movement. So yeah, this is pretty much it. This is a very cool plugin. Definitely worth a try. If you want to go ahead and try that, I'll put a link in the description box below. You can go ahead and download the trial version and uh, enjoy. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, you saw me. You saw the model that that's coming up in the future. So I have no idea when it's going to be finished. I have a lot of work right now. So yeah, um, this should be pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you liked it, please go ahead and hit the like button and favorite the video. It really helps me out. And also, if you want to, if you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, this demonstration. This was this was no tutorial. This was just a demonstration. So yeah, once I grab hold of a full version of the software, I'll be doing a tutorial on this, of course. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching, everyone, and hope you guys liked it. And uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah, thanks for watching.